welcome back to our weekly devotional. This week's memory verse is Fear God and keep His commands because this is for all humanity. Ecclesiastes 12.13 This week's lesson is titled, Obey Day to Day. We might think that the story of Noah's Ark is mostly about a big floating zoo, but it's also a story about obedience. Noah obeyed God, but it wasn't easy, and it took a lot of physical work, months and months of patience, and the ability to put up with a lot of stinky animals. But in the end, his obedience saved his family. Maybe your obedience needs some tuning up. Think about all the good things that happen when you have made the right attitude and obey God. You grow closer to Him, you set a better example for others, and you avoid disagreements with your family and friends. Those results are pretty great, and just think, they don't require you to spend any time stuck on a stinky ark. Obedience is definitely the right choice. I have a question for my parents. When have you been obedient even when it was hard? I wasn't happy where I was living. And for so many years I complained, but one day I accepted that I had to be happy whatever God wanted me to be. When have I been obedient even when it's hard? Throughout my life I've tried to maintain a positive attitude even when things aren't going right. I think of the story of Joseph and he was sold by his brothers and uh, put into prison and throughout his whole life um, God had a plan and a purpose for him even though things weren't going very well. And so I try to maintain a positive attitude because I know that what God's bringing me through is for His glory and to build me and, and my character. So I try to maintain a positive attitude through life, and I would say that's probably one of the areas I've been the most obedient. Here's a question for our kids. What do you think was the best part about being on the ark? What was the worst part? I think the best part about being on the ark was that it saved their life from drowning. But I think the worst part about the ark is that I think it got pretty boring because um, there's nothing there except for water and animals and it probably stunk. Read more about Noah's obedience in the Bible, Genesis 6, 5 through 9, 17. Thank you for checking out this week's devotional. Make sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at Shep Fam Life.